What's up, Simonics? Welcome back to a new episode of App Review. The show where I, Simon, review your Simonix application. I think the applications we have today are built with Ionic. I'm not completely sure about all of them, but we got three new applications. As always, if you also uh, got any applications built in the last time, submitted, updated, anything like this, please leave them below. This show happens basically every other month or so. I'm always open for your applications. But without further ado, let's dive into today's apps. <laughs> All right, first application of the day is called Liefer Home. So it's actually a combination of the German word for delivery and home. Uh, it looks like it's a German application, but the rating is good. So let's check it out. Um, the first thing I notice is that actually the application brings up a nice uh, warning. So there seems to be a discount code during the current crisis. Um, as far as I know, there's no uh, restaurant near mirror so I have to uh, interesting that this search bar is actually powered by Google and shows I, I don't know if I've seen a search bar like this in a regular application before so I'm um, not sure how this works there are a lot of food ordering apps and right now of course these apps are pretty good because everyone's at home and orders food and I kind of really like the UI of this application. It has a like UI, everything is clear, there are nice icons in the right places, the font sizes are nice. Um, there's not too much information, although I'm not sure why here's the discount at the top right and here in the center, I guess because here's not enough space. So that looks first thing I found. Just like the other apps, it seems to have ratings for the restaurants that take place in this. Um, so let's try to filter. Okay, I can easily filter with the buttons at the top or I can reset it and I could also filter by range and by stars. So I really like the general UI of this first page. There are no buttons here, no uh, difficult menus that could distract you from the thing. There's just this list, enter your postcode and find the restaurants. That is really helpful. I think I would actually place this locate me button somehow inside this view because the three buttons here, that's a bit too much for me. Um, so I would put that somewhere else. And also having two times the lens here feels like um, well, I just don't like it. Just like the filter icon and the menu icon look so similar. So if you have similar icons uh, close to each other, I always feel that's like when you have a sentence and put the same word twice uh, or multiple times in the same sentence. I think you get what I mean. Apparently I've searched for something and I just can't close my... I just can't, can't close my keyboard anymore. So it's really a strange... Okay, now it's closed. What I wanted to say is that it has a side menu, which is kind of strange because you click on the right side on the burger icon and it opens on the left. That just doesn't feel right to me. If the button is on the right, it should also come in from the right. And although this list is really stylish and looks great, the menu I think could need a bit more love because it's just this green, it really hurts my eyes a bit. Um, you don't really see that these are buttons, so perhaps it might be helpful for you to change this to English, but of course you can also pick up some German in this video. Now finally, let's dive into the view of the restaurant. I guess it's just like all the uh, other food ordering apps. The menu is fine with this uh, kind of expanding list. Um, I would actually like to see some animation like you press on this button and the view opens like this. So you always get the nice uh, menu at the top and then see the full list. I think that's definitely possible. You just have to scroll the view to the according place and that would actually make the user experience even better in this place. And right now I don't really know where to continue so I don't see any primary button here to complete my order. I just want to put this one into my cart and I don't, I don't really know why it's not working and what this strange uh, UI is in here. Yeah, I don't really find a button to, to add the items to my cart. I really don't know why. And also, right now you notice I'm on a details page, so I expect to swipe back from the side to go back. And what you see is the menu opens. So that is something you have to watch out for. If you have this kind of stack navigation and you allow swipe to go back, or you actually should allow swipe to go back, 
then menu on the side can really uh, get you into trouble. So make sure that on these details pages the menu is not active and you're really going back to the overview page and from that page you could then open the menu once again or perhaps even from this page only. So all in all I like the UI of the application although I can't order food with this app. Um, the menu is a bit tricky perhaps you could just get rid of the menu somehow and also always take care of not having too many icons in one place and also not having the same icons appear close to each other. But otherwise I hope people are ordering food somehow with this application, perhaps I just have to wait until the restaurant is open and then this is one more application um, for delivering food and staying safe and home. Application number two is called Easy Finances, I think it's only available on Android it has a few ratings and I really like the preview images so that really got me. Let's take a look at the finances app. So I'm not really sure if it was built with Ionic but I feel like so whenever I see the slides uh, I really feel like it's built with Ionic. So of course I know don't need any introduction. I always know what to do. Um, Log in, sign up, yeah I always like when there's at least a little animation in the beginning. So let's try to sign in with Google because I'm really lazy today. Um, so the sign in isn't even finished or at least the lo loading is not dismissed and I already should purchase a premium which I can't even do even if I wanted to because the screen is locked. So let's restart the application and let's hope now the sign in works. Okay now I'm automatically logged in that's actually cool but back to the issue from before always test your application flow so the initial flow of I start using this app I try to sign up and I want to use it and then I'm locked in a screen with the loading that's like I immediately remove the application and I'm done with it so always make sure your critical onboarding path is really 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 good um, so I'm just very kind that I still use this application now. You have not added any accounts yet, uh, you have not added any records yet. It looks pretty strange to have this button twice in this view. I'm not sure how I would do it otherwise but this just feels, um, yeah I feel like this error or this uh, message should be only once in there. So I guess the credit is locked and I can't even select it, but let's see what the other icons do. So you have not added any accounts yet. Yeah, once again, it's nice to have this uh, information that I don't have any accounts and then can start now, but having the same button right here twice, uh-uh, don't do that. I don't know why this is a form, but to me it really doesn't look like a form. So there's a text and then there's more text and more text. I know that when I click on it, it becomes uh, this stack label, but on the initial view this really doesn't look like a form to me. I don't know why, perhaps you can share your opinion about this as well. Uh, okay, I like the model actually, that was a nice calculator, car type, whatever, expiration date, I have no idea. I've added my Visa card, of course this is not my real card, and I like that it's represented as an UI. Interesting that when I try a pull to refresh the icon, I don't know if you can see it, it starts in the buttons right here and then gets bigger. I don't know if this is the default currently. <laughs> it looks <laughs> it looks kind of strange, but at the same time I also kind of enjoy it, so it's okay. So this application is using the iOS modal card style overlay, uh, which I think shouldn't be used on Android, although I really like it. It now looks kind of strange with a dark background. Um, perhaps if you're a regular user of Android, let me know if this is also now a thing on Android, but I only saw this in the past on iOS. The side menu is something I once again enjoy, so for all applications they either have a nice main screen or a nice menu. Um, clean menu, big items, marked what is active, although I don't know why we have green and blue, so stick to one primary color please. I can use dark mode as well, nice la. Yeah, I still don't want to get the easy finances premium and I don't know why this is now white in dark mode, I think there's something not complete with dark mode. But anyway, I can somehow now, um, I guess, add any records of money I paid or something like this. Uh. Test account, category, car, nice uh, default categories and then let's wait. There was also I think for a second a skeleton loading view so that felt uh, really good. 
and now I guess I can see for all my cards how much I've spent uh, latest expenses what it was so one more application to manage finances I feel like these icons don't really tell what they are about in the beginning um, it seems like this is now records or I really get lost with the navigation in this application and the other one is my accounts okay I get this but I still don't really see from the icons what's behind them otherwise I like the representation of a card the money um, nice uh, graph although this seems to be not localized I think that's Spanish for other otros I think but besides that nice uh, clean application dark mode implemented um, perhaps add a little something like a better onboarding we had the, the problems in the beginning with the onboarding um, and I don't really know perhaps just guide the user through adding the first account the first transactions or otherwise add some dummy account and transactions already so the user sees what exactly is going on in this application but besides that cool UI clean UI like that all right I don't want to bore you with too many applications initially I had planned three applications but today we only got two I think that's enough for this week because we're gonna have this show once again and I need more applications for that. What did we learn today? First of all, make sure that your user onboarding or the initial flow inside your application works. There was actually another application that I wanted to review, but I signed up, I clicked the activation link and it didn't work and I couldn't use the application. Really try out all the possible ways using uh, social providers, using the regular sign up, activation codes, whatever it might be and make sure that this critical initial first impression really works for your users. Perhaps have some sort of slides, have some sort of onboarding, have some initial data, anything to help your users get started easier with your application and just make them not leave your application instantly. Second thing, make sure your icons are not too crowded. So in the one application we saw two lenses about each other and then we got three more icons and some icons look the same so really try to think about what is really important um, maybe combine something into one icon or have a text or anything else but don't have too many icons in your application especially close to each other and finally highlighting it once again small animations like the shift between login windows or anything like this skeleton views having a uh, dark mode implemented automatically is something that your users will really enjoy i was really happy when i saw these features in the applications and i'm sure other users would be just like me so let me know what you think about these two apps and also post your own applications as usually right below the video i'm looking forward to the next app review as always Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, the like icon. Do everything that you can to help me grow this channel and to produce more videos just like this. I will catch you hopefully next week healthy as always. So please, once again, stay healthy, stay at home. And I will catch you like always next week. Happy coding, whatever time. So